We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays where we take a look at some of the figures from the beloved by myself and others, a generation of children, um, the Power of the Force 2 line from from the mid to late 90s. So last couple of weeks we've had a look at Snow Troopers, we've had a look at Hoth Rebel Troopers, for the next couple of weeks we're looking at Han Solo and next week we'll be looking at Luke Skywalker in his Hoth gear. So yeah, Han Solo, here we go. I've had this figure in my collection since I was a kid. This is one that has been with me for a very long time. So I've had a lot of play time with this figure. I've managed to keep the guns. I'm pretty sure they are the weapons that this one came with as a kid. If, if not, then my mistake. I've mixed them up somewhere along the line, but, um, don't care. Don't care. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is about this figure. I've, I've just really, really love this. I, whether it just made me feel like, put me in that Empire Strikes Back mood that, you know, I find myself in, even to the point where occasionally I'll watch it twice in a day. There's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So he does have his sort of DL-44 blaster, which is probably the most accurate weapon he comes with. And this uh, gigantic Tauntaun Slayer 3000. <laughs> Or Wampa Buster. You know, that's just... It's ridiculous, but it's power, part of the power of the force. It's part of the part of the reason I love it. It's just... It's ridiculous. It's cool. Nothing wrong with it. It's funny. Um, so, yeah, there's always been that debate of Han Solo's jacket being blue or grey or brown. Blue or brown, I think. So much... So much yeah, blue and brown. So much so that Hasbro in recent years has taken account into that sort of debate with the Black Series line, and they've actually done a couple of different iterations of Han Solo with both. Um, so I think they've done one with the blue and then a couple with the brown. I'm not sure which is canonically true. Um, I think a lot of it comes to sort of memory and creative license and, you know, the lighting in Empire Strikes Back for those particular scenes aren't, you know, super duper clear. I, I still don't can't decide to this day but what we have here is the Kenner version so Kenner's interpretation was Blue Jacket which I really like this is another figure I've had since I was very young this is probably the first Kenner figure that I ever had in my collection I do have another one I think I think the other one I have is actually the one I had um, I've put him in a taunt one he's a little bit worse for wear so I tend to put this one on show you know they're all not great but it doesn't matter. I just like having having that representation of the of the figures from back in the day. So that's it. that's uh, Kenner's interpretation of Han Solo's jacket. And then the most modern version of Han Solo I have is this one, which is arguably sort of more brown. It almost has a bit of a grey brown to it, probably more brown, um, with sort of grey wash almost over the top of it. Um, I never got the the Tauntaun pack, the Search for Luke Skywalker Tauntaun pack from 2010, um, which was very much just sort of a retool of this figure, recolor, um, repaint. He had the blue and unhelmeted or unhooded head. Um, and that was a pack I never got my hands on. I wish I did, because I still only have one Tauntaun. Um, but yeah, they've sort of played with a bit of both over the years in terms of Han's jacket colour. So I like the fact that there is a little bit of debate there. It comes long before that stupid dress debacle from, from a few years back. The you know I, I don't know whose dress it was. But everyone had their big online spill and argument about it. And I'm thinking, I just, I care more about Han Solo's jacket. 
And which, you know, to a point, I don't care. It's it's fine. Like, just, it's happy to, it's fun to discuss what colour his jacket actually was in different lights. Outside in the snow, it might have looked brown. Inside, in the sort of the blue icy tunnels of, of Echo Base, it may have had that sort of blue, blue sort of shimmer to it, I guess. I don't know. What do you think? Blue or brown? Drop it in the comments below. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is, like I said, this is one that I've had since I was a kid. You got some playtime in the sand pit and we'll probably put him in the freezer at some point. You know, which these days I'd probably, I'd probably do for the sake of a toy photo. If I was doing some toy photography, I would put them in the freezer. But, uh, as a kid, I'd either just thought, nah, he needs to be somewhere where it's cold. He's got a jacket on. My imagination just sort of went wild as a kid, and that's what these figures were all about. He never cared that he came with a with a Tauntaun Slayer 3000 and a DL44, which is bigger than his head. But it's just little touches, little touches on this figure I like. like the sort of metallic blue for his goggles. Sort of... A bit of the sort of brown zigzaggy paint there to interpret the fur on the on the hood. But it's a nice one. I do like this Han Solo. I'm glad I still have this one in my collection. There's probably a good half a dozen, six or seven figures I reckon that are still in my collection from when I was a kid. The others got lost to time. Through means of stories I've told plenty of times over the years. But yeah, this one it's got a bit of a place in my heart, I guess. Much like the uh, the pilot Luke Skywalker, that one's near and dear to me. Um, my R two D two. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a couple of those figures that are you know near and dear, hold a special place in my in my collection um, from my childhood. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. I'll be back next week with Luke Skywalker in his Hoth gear. I need to find his lightsaber. We'll get there. We've got a week to worry about that. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. I always enjoy people's feedback and comments on these Power of the Force Friday videos. It's good fun. But until then, we'll see you next week. May the Force be with you always.